Hey, Mark Lambert here with Sweet Swan of Mine World Champion Barbecue Team. We're gearing up for the World Champion Squirrel Cook-Off this weekend. I want to show you guys a little tip. I'm preparing my squirrels. We're doing a little dish tonight on our YouTube and Facebook Live. And I want to show you something an old timer taught me years and years ago. A lot of y'all might know. You may know how to skin a squirrel, but do you know how to properly clean it? So let me show you a little something. So, your pocket knife, all right? Here is a fox squirrel. Yeah, we need cleaned up. There's a little bit of hair. But you notice it's missing one shoulder already. We probably shot it off. Um, here's the other shoulder. So the first thing I want to show you, an old timer taught me, is glands. Where do you find the glands? I'm sure you had to quarter it, but one of the important things to flavor is glands. And so look right up underneath that armpit. You see that little flap right there? That is the first gland you want to remove. And you notice there's a little of the brisket there, and you can remove that to get in there. But I just like to get in there and press my knife against, press the gland against my knife, and just pull that up and remove that little gland right there. And it's just a little gray, fatty gland. It just doesn't taste good, so you want to get it out. There's maybe a little tiny piece left off of that one. Not really. But, so when you get ready to uh, remove this shoulder... We're gonna pull that off of there. And we've got our front shoulder. Now, old timer called me called this a buggy shed. Let me show you why. So you go on both sides and you just score that around there, right behind the rib cage, and you twist. He called that a buggy shed because he said it looked like a little bug could crawl up in that and make a shed out of it. So I like to open that up and just pop those ribs away from the spine so that I can brown that really good. The whole key to making this taste good is getting some brown on it. Um, and I'll wash this up here in just a minute, but uh, pretty much after I wash it, this will be ready to brown just like that. And that's uh, that's the buggy shed. And then you've got your saddle, which is this portion here, and then your back leg. So there's another little gland in this back leg, okay? And there's a little seam, and if you can see this little seam right there and he showed me you just go in there with that and it's a little kernel you can get right in there you see that little fatty kernel that is the other gland on the very back of the back leg and just run your knife in there and just pull that little kernel out same thing on the other side run your knife in there find that little kernel there it is and you just want to pull that out. Just doesn't taste good, y'all. Same thing with the pork butt. It's got lymph nodes in it. These probably, they're probably lymph nodes as well. But as far as taking the back legs off, I just pull down to separate it. Run my knife right up against that backbone. Separate that saddle. There's my back leg. Same thing with this other side. Twist and pull down like that to separate it. And I can just run my knife right in there along that, and separate that back leg. There's my saddle, there's my back legs, my buggy shed, front legs. There you go, so every time you do this, make sure that you get all the glands out of it so that your squirrel tastes as good as it should. If you ever had anybody say, ooh, I don't like squirrel, they probably didn't know how to get those glands out. So that's my tip for today. All you folks at the World Champion Squirrel Cook-Off, hope this helps you, good luck.